Hey guys, Harish here from Shout Me Loud and in this video I'm going to show you one very simple but very important trick how you can start using Cloudflare for your domain. So in this case I have a domain name which is hosted on GoDaddy and what I'm doing is I'm adding this domain to Cloudflare account and then you know like just changing the name server. So what will happen is now that all the traffic that is coming to my website will route via Cloudflare. And Cloudflare has DNS level filtering. So, you know, it blocks many of the spam traffic, also the DDoS attack. And you can do a lot more things that we will cover in the next video. But the first thing that you need to do is, uh, even if your domain is hosted on GoDaddy, Namecheap, Reseller Club, or any other domain registrar, all you need to do is add the domain to Cloudflare. And then whatever changes you want to make, you will make directly from Cloudflare moving forward. So it does not changes anything like, you know, the earlier what used to happen, like say if I click on manage DNS. Now this domain is directly pointing to my host data server. But after once I've added it to Cloudflare, the domain is pointing to Cloudflare and then from Cloudflare to host data. So the only thing that would be changing is the name server and that's it. You'll still have the complete control of the domain name. Now, now this service will help you to manage your domain more smartly and you can do a lot more things and i'm like really surprised that cloudflare also have, have a free plan which makes it very easy for anyone to start using it so here's how we go about it click on log into your cloudflare account if you don't have an account go ahead and create a free account now add the domain that you want to add i have added the domain name it will scan the domain name for all the dns settings and then it will only give you the name server that, that you need to add to replace this name server with the Cloudflare name server. And that's it. Within an hour, the, every traffic will start going through Cloudflare. And thus your website become more secure, much faster. And you can also enable caching and many other features. So this is like one of those free things that you must be using. All right. So let's confirm this. I hope it does not change anything because I have an old plan. All right, so it just looks for, you know, all the settings. Like if you see something that should not be there or something that you want to add, you can do it here. In most of the cases, it just works by default. So now click on continue and these are the new name server that I need to change. So I just can click on change here. And the new name server and save. All right. So that's it. Now, since we are using GoDaddy, they're saying like there might be an email. So check your inbox for the possible confirmation emails. You may need to click on that. I'm not doing that part. Once this is done, now click on continue. And that's it. You know, the DNS name server changes take a lot of time initially, maybe, you know, 15 minutes to four hour maximum. But the beauty here is like, you know, once this is done and in future, if you change your web hosting and you need to change the name server, when you do it from Cloudflare, it's instant. Like within seconds, your new name server will be, you know, replicated throughout the world. Now, this is one of the beauty of Cloudflare. And then there are many other things that you can do, like set up the security levels, use the free SSL, which I will show you in the next video, how to configure the free SSL using Cloudflare and then enable the caching mode and few other things that you can do. So yes, that's how you configure Cloudflare for any domain. And in most of the cases I would recommend, like if you have multiple domain, you know, you can simply use Cloudflare to configure everything from here and it makes your domain management way easier. Well, that was a quick tutorial. If you have any question, feel free to ask me in the comment section. If you like this video, do give me a like and subscribe to my channel for more such updates, which will help you to grow your blog website and become your own boss. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. This is Harsh.